some vegan cheesecakes, the individual ones. But I'm not sure which cream cheese to use. I mean, you can buy You can buy that vegan cream cheese. Uh, oh, we like to make it. Yeah. No good? What? Debbie, yeah, yeah, would you like some... Fantastic. Uh, some well but That's already made, right? The one... You're talking about the stuff in the freezer, Gary, that I bought? Yeah, I want to make my own. Oh. Make them deeper. Oh, good. That would be cool. I'm trying to figure out what kind of cheese... Cream cheese to use. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, well, well, there's loads of... It's Dayo. D-A-I... Dayo? Y-A, yeah. And it's up at Juan's Weight, mm -hmm. and yeah, they have cream really cheese. They do. Yeah. And that's what makes cheesecake, is mm -hmm. cream cheese. And they have plenty of that. Yeah, this, they've even got it at Hannaford's now. You know, huh? the, the, regular, really? the regular the cheese, the grated yeah. cheese. Plant yeah, a little bit. Well, yeah, they've got she, it in the big Hannaford. She wants yes, I, I buy lots of vegan food at Hannaford. I shop almost exclusively at Hannaford. All right, so. What are you looking at? She's making a funny face. I'm, I'm just debating where to where well, you can, sit, yeah, the plates are in there, and then... Um, no, I'm fine. I, I ate quite a lot today. I had uh, a nice salad for breakfast, and Gary took me out for a smashing lunch. Mm, where'd it go? We went to Dottie's. Where's that? In Pittsfield. Right, oh, the place I want to go. Is that the little cafe? Yeah. I have been there twice, and been there too late both times. Really? How is it too late? They start, it? stop serving food at 2 o'clock. Oh, I didn't know. They do. You can only get coffee or dessert. Oh, yeah. The, uh, is that Can't the, you join us, Fred? Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Is is that Dottie's? Is that the coffee shop? Yeah. Is, mm -hmm. that, is it? Or is it? Yeah. I yeah, had we went a, there, right? a vegan yeah. cob, and it had it had uh, tempeh, mm -hmm. portobello mushrooms, mm -hmm. tomatoes, a scoop of hummus, salad with balsamic vinaigrette, mm -hmm. red onions, red peppers. Mm -hmm. Right, Gary? Were they red peppers or? Yeah. Yeah. And um, it was lovely. It sounds like they were all separate. It was all on a plate. Oh, okay. I know. Very all just nice. scattered around right. the plate. So yeah, it was right. great. What did you have, guys? I had a vegan tempeh wrap. Uh, and it was good. Excellent. Yeah. I don't have a cup of tempeh. I love your lentils. You do? Mmm. Lentils. You eat that, Debbie, you won't eat lentils, huh? Well, I'd eat the lentils, but I'm not going to separate out the rice. Lentils so. and rice, Pandora. <laughs> Are you not eating rice? What, dear? It's, it's got rice in it. Rice? Yeah. In with the lentils. Well, that's good. I like rice. No, but Debbie can't, doesn't eat rice, huh? I can't. I can't. I just go... Uh-huh. Okay. In fact, I'm, I'm thinking the tempeh did the same thing. Cause Can you eat a potato, a main potato, honey? No. Are you eating no, white? Main sugar? potatoes are the best. Because of the sugar? I think, right. They're not and mealy. No. They're the always moist. It makes me bloat. I was, I've got this recipe book, Glendora, and the guy, the lady in the recipe book, she tells little stories about the recipes. So she said she had a friend. She talks about rice and lentils. And she said she had a friend who disappeared into the wilderness with... Uh, a bag of rice and a bag of lentils, and he was gone for three months. Wow! And he just, for, with the rice and the lentils, because it's more or less, because you've got the protein, you know, from the lentils, and you've got carbohydrates, and she said, he, you know, he collected forage for greens, uh, and she said for, you know, for like three months, that that's all he needed. Wow! A bag of lentils and a bag? Of rice. Of rice. Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could survive. I can see that, that out really. Yeah, you could Not sure why. <laughs> so well, I can see that happening. And so sure. So Maddie, it's a good thing you came. Why? And that we came because it'd just be the two of them. Mm. Mm. So, I'm sorry, honey. That's okay. <laughs> it looks good on you, that hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, I I took Glendora for a spin on Tuesday in Did my you? car. Uh huh. So, <clears> How'd you like it, Glenny? Oh, spectacular. How did we get a new car? You know, car? the ride is very good. Well, um, no, the ride is very good. What, Tuesday, you mean yesterday? Or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Man, what a week. <laughs> it was only yesterday. Tell, tell Greg about all the features, oh. all the electronics. Oh, yeah, she said you got a new uh, your Prius. You got a yeah, Prius car it's, it's a Prius Prime plug-in, and it takes about six hours to charge. The last one took three hours, and instead of going 10 or 11 miles, it's supposed to go 20, 22 miles. Hmm. But I'm getting about 30, because I always beat whatever they say. 
So I get into my first school, I drive to my second school, I go to my next school, and I lose it about then. But in the past, around town, I would get about 38 because you're starting and stopping after a mile. This time, with this car, I'm getting about 80. And then on the way home, I would 80 miles, miles to, to the, the gallon. Because you're using gas and electric at the same time, right? Well, the hybrid battery now is engaged when I run out of electric. Okay. And so, you know, whenever you coast or break, you get more energy to the battery. So mm -hmm. it must be more efficient. Mm -hmm. Like the very first Prius we got, the hybrid battery would be full. And as soon as it lost two little bops, mm -hmm. you would use gas to charge it. By the second Prius, it said, we'll wait till it gets to the last two bops before we use gas to engage it. And so now, when I used to go down the mountain and it was only a hybrid battery, I'd have too much energy and it'd be going, and I'm thinking, where's all this energy going? So now that I have the plug-in, when I go down the hill and the hybrid fills up, it starts filling the electric battery. Oh. So then I go down the hill and I end up with electric driving. So now it's, you know, it's five years newer. And so um, it's, it, it's doing about 80 around town. Mm -hmm. And again, when I would get home, I always do segments like mm -hmm. going to work. Obviously, I'm driving to work 100% electric, right. which in the past, you would only get about a third of the way there. So now coming home, I'd be lucky if I'd get 60, 65, and I'm getting more like 85, wow. 90. So, That's great. You know, I've driven that car um, about almost 300 miles. And yesterday, it went off of full for the first time since wow. Saturday. And it's just used an eighth of a tank. Now, normally in a week, I do 500 miles, and I'm gassing up eight, eight gallons a week, probably, you know, because yeah. it, it does something phenomenal. That's amazing. You know, for 500 That's miles, great. it's like... What do you drive? Where's your new car? Sure. Yeah. Where's your new truck? Old, old truck. <laughs> old truck. Well, what's Lots the, of gas. Uh, where's your car, Maddie? Have you... Me? Yeah, where did you come in? Uh, I have Joyce's G... Uh, uh, what is that? Joyce's... Um, truck? Ford, yeah. Yeah, it's the red one outside. How's she doing? She's good. She's in her shop. Oh, is she? Yeah, she goes away. I steal her car. Right. <laughs> oh, that's good. No, she knows I haven't. But um, she um, yeah, she's down in her shop. She's she had a little scare a couple weeks ago. Yeah. She um. She said all of a sudden she felt her heart beating, like she was never aware of her heart before, and it felt like it was racing. Turns out, I, I, so she went to the doctor, she went to the emergency room, down in her show. They, she, they sent her to um, a specialist and he said, you have a low heartbeat. So she came home and about three days after that, she came down to my house and she was crying. She said, it's been doing this since 8 o'clock this morning, I don't know what to do, but bless. So off to the emergency room we went. So she has now had a catheterization to look at her heart. She has a small blockage, but nothing that they think is causing this. Uh -huh. Her resting heart rate is 40. Wow. Yeah. And sometimes dips down into the 30s. So she's wearing what's called a Holter monitor. monitor yeah. Yep. And um, they've already had to call her twice because her heart rate was at 39. Wow. She has no symptoms when that happens. The only thing she feels is it feels like her heart all of a sudden is, you know. Hmm. So. Um, I, so that's what's happening. For 30 days, she has to wear the, the halter thing, and it took us about a week to get it so that we understood what the heck was going on. Yeah, there. you have to put the tabs in certain spots. Oh, no, it's, it's nothing like that. It's just she wears it right here. It's on a patch. It's a little thing. It slips in. She has a phone that monitors her. It's pretty cool. Wow. That's not so, how um, Yeah, there it is. Ten years ago. Yeah. So anyhow, she's, um, I don't know. I, I was waiting to hear from her today, actually. I called her yesterday. I haven't heard back from her, so... Um, so other than that, she seems to be fine. And you know, some athletes have a resting heart rate of 40 naturally, yeah. and I just think she's so healthy. Yeah. No, she, it, something is happening because she's never felt her heart do that before. So something I'm is actually 57 happening. 57 right now. I really? Mean, when I want to like relax, I've watched it. When I was in the doctor's office, I was a little nervous, and it was like 70. I'm mm -hmm. like, that's not good. And I watched it go down to like 49. So if I were to put that on, would it show mine? Sure. Can I try it? Sure. Do you mind? Not at all. Okay. What is that? <laughs> it's just a Fitbit. Oh, a Fitbit. Magic to me. Makes so this will just, yeah, or turn it the other way so you could read it. Greg, did you put clothes in that? Uh, clothes? Yes. Yeah. That's what she called it, a clove casserole. Oh, yeah, yeah, some kind of a 
You got cloves it's in it. String beans, honey. Cut string beans. Yeah. Uh, tomato soup. Yeah. Uh, Morning Star Farms crumbles. Yeah. Hamburger, vegetarian hamburger. So. And one teaspoon of clove. Thin, yeah. If you uh, brown. Get my eyeballs out. Yeah, maybe we put what maybe we put too much swipe. too much clothes in. Maybe oh, we could so. smell it. Say how many steps I've but done. Not, uh, Fourteen floors today. Woo! It smells pretty powerful there. What, you you know, know how many calories? Go ahead. Thirteen ninety six. Is that a lot? I don't know. I don't need it. Three 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 miles. Okay. Okay, so sixty beats per minute. So that's me. Sixty. That's you. Oh, and suddenly it's at seventy three. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Going up as we speak to 80. Well, think about it. So it must be <laughs> just taking you up from me now, like I was. Right. So it's, you know. Right. So if you swipe the other direction, it'll oh. be the first thing that gotcha. comes after the number. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm at 79. So that's about normal. Yeah. Go on, as right? you try it. Why? Just to see how normal you are. Oh, look at that. Spooky when you take it over. I don't want Scientology. I've opted out. You've opted out? <laughs> yes. I, I just can't get over dot com. She's something, isn't she? She's amazing. <laughs> Look at her all twisted up. Uh, Debbie, did uh, anybody in Pittsfield tell you that they saw you on TV? No. Did somebody Could say you that? have been on quite a lot. Uh oh. Uh, Spin it to the to me. One time. Wayne Collins oh, told me he's seen you a lot. Oh yeah. What am I doing? Well, <laughs> you're on her show, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. one of the before or after talk. Seventy one. Gregory, tell uh. Very nice. Tell Gary what you did this morning. You should have it less than that. <clears throat> Why? Why? Because I thought you normally sixty something. <clears throat> well, today this morning we uh, I drove up. I drove up, drove up early this morning from uh, Poughkeepsie, and uh, came up and we, uh, <coughs> Glendora and I, we went. And we dropped off, uh, dropped off my truck at his shop, and my truck's being worked on at his shop right now. Oh, yeah. Doing a, oh, like a, the front end work, like a ball joint and uh, and the uh, ball joints and the tie rod, and mm. and something like that, and. Uh, <clears throat> so it's so today and tomorrow my my truck's laid up in the man's shop right now. So it's gonna be it's gonna be working on that. How'd you get home? Well, he drove us. He drove oh. us both back. So. Eddie, Eddie, I know him from the Roman Catholic Church. His mother's in the Bible study. Oh, in the prayer group. Mm -hmm. I know her for years. And um, Eddie is the grandson of the granddaddy who started the garage. Oh yeah. Which one, is, which one is that, Glendora? Which garage it's is called, it? It's uh, called Eddie's Car Repair, and it's on Maple Hill Road in uh, Castleton. Castleton, yeah, I don't know where that is. Where do you go? We go, we go to Tom Miller in Everill Park. Been going to him for the last 20-something years. Yeah, this is great. So, you're, you're pleased with him? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's great. So what happened, you see, was He's honest. Sally wanted to go down to visit some colleges on Long Island. Mm -hmm. And of course, I just assumed we were taking the Prius, but Gary said, I don't like the noise in the front end. So he had Tom look at it, and Tom said, all joints, guys? Well, he thought it could be a wheel bearing. A wheel bearing. So, oh my unbeknownst God. to me, Gary is in Pittsfield with it and has the dealer guy look at it, and he said he'd give us six grand, and there's three Prius Primes. There's the lowest one that does all the fancy tricks mine does. And then there's the middle and then the high end, which has the heated steering wheel and it'll park itself for you. <laughs> we didn't want that one, but that was the blue one. They had a red one that was in the middle, which Gary thought was the, a good one. But I just wanted the dead basic one and I wanted blue. So Leah had it, and we've had our three Priuses from Leah. Wow. And also Bennington had it. And, you know, Leah has never really done anything for us. I'm telling you, every time I go, I say... The last guy didn't follow up with me. He didn't keep in touch. I trade in my Priuses every three years. Somebody should be reaching out to me. So anyway, Gary talked to them, and they had one. So he said, well, would you run me some numbers? Because Bennington's got one. We've had an appointment to see them tomorrow. And they said, no, if you want to, you have to come in. And Gary's like, well, I don't want to drive 45 minutes no. to run numbers. Just give us the deal. So um, so this is why we have this problem with we, you know, and so the That's next bad. day, bad as we're business. driving, 
They had sold it. I was like, oh. okay, fine, you know. So anyway, we get to Bennington, and they were great. Carbone is awesome. The guy's already reached out to me twice. Mm. And um, so, so in the end, we, we did the deal. We actually said to him that, you know, we had this quote for 6000 for our car. They were only going to give us two and, two and a half. At they, Bennington? Yeah. They I said that. they didn't like the sound. They thought it was a drive shaft, and they were afraid to drive it which is oh. ridiculous. I've been driving it every day, you know. So we said, well, they're going to give us six. So mm -hmm. I guess that scared them into giving us five. Wow. And, uh, Better than two. Yeah. And then we were able to uh, work the numbers so that uh, and apparently, because this is a new Prius Prime, there's a $4,502 rebate mm -hmm. off of your taxes. Mm. So that right. would be good. And they did something where they did 0% for 60 months. But if you did 2.99%, they give you 3,250 bucks off. Mm. And it worked out to be cheaper in the payments to do that. So, I mean, we can pay it off early if we want it. What is the payment amount? 325 28 mm. What is it? 325 325 What was the payment on the month of the other one? Your 281 Not bad. Not bad. Find your better car. Yep. And it's already giving us tremendously yes. more gas yes. mileage right. and I can't okay. believe it because each one has gotten better right well, of and course now they do. The, the it used to be if you took your foot off the gas well, you Nora, go slow to a stop can I take a look at your but now it costs uh, like a normal car Lovely. I'm trying to think of the name of it you know your uh, products that you get from Seventh-day Adventist what dear he wants to look at the stuff you get from the the What's it called? The Adventist store. You know how Seven, you get from Mona yes. Lisa. Mona uh, Lisa. Go Mona to the Lina. freezer, honey, and then on both shelves up here. This one. Yeah, both. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Tender bits, big franks, vegetable scallops. Wow. Those those are delicious, and the tender bits are delicious. But of course, they're delicious because they're salty. Well, yeah. I don't need. I don't mind salt. I'm mind you over six. Linkets. They tell me I should have salt, so I don't. Yeah, linkets are delicious. Right, when I stand up. These are vegan. <laughs> these are vegan, so that means yes. it should be good. Yeah, these are vegan too. But there is a lot of salt in. And tender bits are vegan. See, I mean, look at this. And <coughs> big pranks are vegan. Rice, flour, corn oil. Over there in the other shelf, big pranks are vegan. Oat flour. What have I got here? I've got linkets here, haven't I? They're vegan. Oh, these vegetable scallops. Wow. And they're tasty. If you fry them, they're real good. We had them down at the diner. Tender bits. You see, this has got MSG in it. And then in the refrigerator is vegan turkey and vegan chicken. chicken. No, this has got no sugar and 13 grams of protein, three fibers. But no sugar. Big no fries. 390 milligrams of salt. Wow. This one has 440. You've got a lot of fat in. Oh, Somebody sorry, said that sorry. you should never have more milligrams of salt than it more calories than in it. More than what? You should have the. You should try to get the sodium to be the same as the calories. So the calories here is 120, but the sodium is 440. Yeah. So that's like four times more than it should be. Right. But you know, like for me, all of that wheat, rice. You know, oat flour. I wouldn't be able to do that. I mean, I. It's a shame. I literally can feel my waist go like. This has texturized vegetable protein, yeah. wheat gluten, soy protein concentrate, and water. And then the broth is water, salt, monosodium glutamate, which is salt, right? Yeah, MSG, yeah. And L-lysine, monohydrochloride. See, look at this. has got monohydrochloride. Uh, there's vegan chicken in there and vegan turkey, honey. Look at, you know what though, you know what's so There's funny? There's lamb, which this is, is a ham. vegan product. Oh, this, this is, is a turkey eating. roll. Why is it vegetarian? Yeah. Probably has egg in it. I mean, these, these are great. You know, the egg ones. I love the egg stuff. So. No, uh, Gary, do you but they see my egg replacer up there on the shelf? My egg crumbs. replacer. It's arrowroot and tapioca root. Is it I mean, in this jar? Is it in this jar, my daughter? It says no sugar. Is it that or is that your stock powder? It can't. That's stock powder, right? Are you on right, Gregory? Yeah, I'm fine, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hydrolysized. Yeah, we have that. Soy protein. Oh, okay. I mean, why does it need mono and diglycerides? And it, a glyceride is sugar, so then why is there no sugar on the label? I don't know. It's very confusing. Figure that one out. That is confusing. And what's mono, mon, mono unsaturated fat? 
polyunsaturated fat. Mm. Mm. You see, they're the, getting better. The ham, the yeah. ham that Glendora have done. I mean, it's, Did you find it's it up fantastic. There? It's called wham. <laughs> yeah. Wham. The, the ham. Oh, what it's is it? Called wham. Is it called wham? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, you know, and that the other thing is that that thing in the foil, that roast. Yeah, that's good. Oh, is this from last time? So they figured out how to make it delicious, even if I'm going to say well, it's mean, not as healthy as. Yes. It, I mean, but you know, if you, it's, but it's, got, it's got over, the egg whites in it. Doesn't you know, if you yeah. transfer people over So it's not over vegan. Some, meat, some of the set, stuff, right? if it says, if it says uh, vegetarian, you know, it's got egg whites. This says vegetarian, but there's no egg whites in it. No, the scallops there isn't, is there? No. Now, have you ever tried any of the Beyond Beef yet? Yeah, well, it's it's because I've got a lot of oil in it. Oh, it does? Yeah. Is that what makes it so juicy? Yeah. No. I haven't tried it. I was going to try it, but there were four hamburgers in a pack, and it was like $8. or wow. $2 a piece. And I just oh. couldn't make myself pay it. I just couldn't do it. That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I got this, you know, I got some... Uh, I want to make these, these bean and beef burgers. Oh, where did we have that? We had that somewhere. Black where bean. Where did we have that? Black bean and beef. In, in the Hannaford, in the Walmart, oh, yes. black bean burgers. Oh, yeah. I get them all the time. Yeah. You know what's a really good burger that's vegan? If you ever get a chance, it's by the one that there's always in question, Morningstar. Yeah. But it, it is vegan, and they're made with quinoa. They are delicious. I Which will be grilling some of them on Friday. They come in a, like a light brown package. Uh, like a, a tannish color package, they're, they're just made with quinoa whatever. See, quinoa. I got some at the but co when they were on sale. Yeah. It, it was like a new line, and they were knocking them out like a two-for-one deal. Really? And I bought some, and they were really good. Yeah. But now, not only can I, I can't remember the brand then, but the last time I looked, it kind of gone to the regular, yeah. regular pie, so they were really, really right. expensive. Every now and then I'll have a really good one in a restaurant. Oh, we're, we're, we're going, go ahead, we're just chatting. Our choir director is ready. Right. All right, everybody, we're going to sing our theme song. <laughs> One, two, okay. All right. three. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your hearts and let us sing. Just be kind, stop the cruel. Thou cows and pigs, leave them alone. The hens and horses, horses and turkeys, too. Just be kind, save the fish, stop the cruel, one with God, hallelujah, hallelujah. That is a faith, isn't it? I love it. We love it. It's good when we all sing the right words. <laughs> it's not like we don't have it written out right in front of us. I know, but sometimes it's hard. All right, now we have another favorite. Let there be peace on earth. I'm going to sing the round. I'm singing the yeah, round. Yeah, like the. Uh, singing the round. Yes, I am. All right. I like the rice. I'm going to sing the round. Okay. So like right. so Somebody's going to. You're where? You're, 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 you're going to start after the first round. I don't All know right. where I'm going to start. Does anybody want to join you in the round? Gas, you want to join her so that there's three and two? What's that one? We're going to well, let there start be peace on earth. Oh, go okay. On. One, two, three. Let, let there be peace on earth. And let it begin to make me. Nah, forget it. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as our Father, brothers all are we. Let me walk with my brother in perfect harmony. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my solemn vow. To take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Start the round. Is it after the second? I sentence? don't know. I feel as long as you started someplace. <laughs> yes, pass your paper. In. I'll do it. I didn't do it. You did. You I'll practice it. and I'll do it next time. All right. So the very last one 
is another one that I believe Glendora. Oh, Gary, you say that it's not been made up by Glendora, that this is a real song, right? Just like the last one? I thought she's she on our of the words. I don't know if she did. I think it's, um, no, she, I think this is a You do a great job. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm glad you think so. Here you go, Greg. <coughs> right. Okay, ready? Yep. One, two, three. Come, ye faithful people, come, raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in, ere the winter storms begin. God our Maker doth provide for our wants to be supplied. Come to God's own temple, come. Sing the song of Harvest Home. Hooray. I never know the tune to that one. So, Glendora, just tell me where we're meeting next month. Because next month, I think, is, um, is it the Wednesday before Thanksgiving? Yes. And we are having a Thanksgiving dinner. Ah. We are having a smoked turkey, a cranberry sauce, turnip, squash, peas, uh, dressing, <laughs> and uh, pumpkin pies. Oh, wow. That and I'm trying good. to get a vegan pumpkin pie. I that could I could get it two years ago, but I couldn't get it last year. Well, Other than that, we'll have to have a vegetarian pumpkin pie. What do you folks think of these white pumpkins? Thank you. They're real? Nice. What do you think of them, hon? Are they real? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I wonder how they did that. Yeah, they had them at uh, Walmart, I think, or they had them. Genetic. A, I think they're, uh, they've been, uh, what do you call genetically it? Genetically altered? Yes. Yeah. So, maybe they so have. do you know if you can get a vegetarian one this time? I'm going to try to. Yeah. We got one uh, two years ago. I think you can get them at the uh, Whole Foods Glendora, but you're going to pay. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. There's your girl. She's so picture takeable. <laughs> uh, well, let me show you. What a nice big phone. What is it, huh? Um, It's a Galaxy Note 4. What? A Galaxy Note 4. Oh, it's a Galaxy? Yeah, I bought it, it on time. Mine, isn't it? Um, I don't know. What one are you using now? I don't know. This, uh, it's hard to say. It's like it's about oh. to fall off the yeah, thing. Yeah, it's right there. Same one. Oh, thank you, oh. dear. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Yeah, I think the screens are pretty pretty equal. Cool like, this is five and a half inches, I think. Where? So, the next time, I just wanted to draw your attention to... The exact same size a product in Whole Foods, mm -hmm. and if ever, I mean I know Whole Foods is expensive, but if ever you, if ever you feel like really treating yourself mm -hmm. and uh, going kind of crazy, they have a, it's, it's next, it's near the hummus, and you know Whole Foods prices have actually gone down quite a bit since I wasn't so proper, okay. but this thing is called Four Grass, Four Gram, and it's supposed to be like, like a pate. Oh. You know, like a liver foie pate, gras. foie, foie gras. gras. So, foie gras. It's, made from, it's made from roasted walnuts, mm. lentils, mm. miso. It's all good stuff. And it's absolutely... And you put it on crackers. Gary, will you get me some get a receipt? Yes, I will. And I'll pay you. I'll get yes, a receipt. Yes, I will. You can put it on crackers. You can put it on toast. I make a nice sandwich with it. Really? So you can put it on some bread with some tomato, lettuce, mm -hmm. onion. It makes a fantastic sandwich. Mm -hmm. I, uh, my, my bread now is Ezekiel bread. The Sprouted. Grain. The grain. That's good. I'm going to try and make it, that pate. Make it? You are. Oh, I actually made, walnuts. I actually, made some, uh, I actually made the fake, the fake cheese. Oh, did you? I've got a recipe for that. Oh, I, I've i seen the recipes for them, but I've never but made it came, them. It actually came out on. That one is going to read in the round. Oh. <laughs> Do you think that we so should funny. see about going online and getting a cheesecake recipe? Because, sure. you know, we make the we make that cheese out of walnuts, don't we, for the um, I'm sure you could lasagna. Online. Oh, yeah. Vegan cheesecake, no problem. What would you like me to read, Glenda? Anything? <laughs> Well, again, it's that Diana cheese, which is yeah. cream cheese. <clears throat> so just look at just look everything? at the. Uh, Excuse me. You want me to read something? Yes, Madeline's going to read to us. Okay, this is chapter eight of. I'm going to read the whole chapter. Vegan okay. living, <laughs> vegans, you're all weak and sickly. 
<laughs> For one reason or another, people sometimes have the impression that vegans and other plant-based diets are frail, too thin, weak, or sickly. This couldn't be further from the truth, although vegans are much more likely to be more fit and trim than their non-vegan counterparts. Vegan athletes abound and excel in the sports world, and some of our greatest athletes have followed a completely plant-based diet. Be confident in knowing that going and eating vegan does not does do a body good, and your physique will not suffer from your new way of eating. In fact, it will almost certainly improve. Remember, small steps taken in the right direction can have a positive impact on your journey to good health and happiness. Each of the changes you're making in your lifestyle will have an effect on your quality of life now and down the road. Thank you. Nice, thank you. You're welcome. And it's a vegan who has the world's longest running public access TV show. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right, Gary, your turn. <clears throat> okay, this is a little controversial for today, but that's okay. Tell us what you're reading from. Powerful vegan messages. Sometimes the plight of the animals gets frustrating, especially for new vegans who now get it, that the rest of the world does not understand the plight of animals. I have a lifetime of patience in this arena, but the stress of the animals suffering gets to me too. Just because I, and Gandhi, Schweitzer, and many others advocate non-violence, doesn't mean that this is the path everyone chooses. Some radical vegans seek to end the property status of non-human animals through violent methods. Although liberating animals may be analogous to saving a child from abuse, it is not yet accepted rationale in the eyes of society and its laws. It is admirable to want to save animals from places of abuse and place them in good homes and reveal atrocities committed against them. However, it often comes with the goal of inflicting economic damage through destruction of property.